everybody. Welcome back to The Commute with Sun Wizard Podcast. People have been talking endlessly about this Joker movie coming out. Before we get into it, I'll admit that the trailer does look pretty strong, and Joaquin Phoenix is a great actor. That being said, this movie should not exist. What makes the Joker an interesting character is that we don't know who he is, and he's just pure anarchy running around. We also know through many comic books and movies that the Joker would not exist if it wasn't for Batman. They need each other. One of the most famous depictions, especially for mainstream movie audiences, is The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger's Joker, which is absolutely phenomenal. One of the coolest lines in that movie is that there's nothing in the guy's pockets but knives and lint. We don't know who he came from, we don't know where he was going, even his clothing didn't have labels on it. There was nothing they could do to track this guy and that makes for a very interesting villain. So now you have the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie coming out, and it's nothing but why. It's his entire backstory, and from what I'm gathering from the trailers, it looks like they're even trying to make him a sympathetic character, which really, really undermines everything that's great about this character. It also seems very questionable to have this kind of anarchist upsetting the system be the anti-hero of the movie. And maybe that's judging a little too soon because I'm basing this on just on trailers, but I just don't buy it. I don't know why everyone's so excited to get the origins on a character that we don't need the origins for. The Joker's been around for generations without a clear, concise, this is why story. When you introduce me, can you call me Joker? I mean, come on. It really feels like Warner Brothers had this script sitting on a shelf that was kind of a spiritual remake of Taxi Driver, King of Comedy, some huge De Niro fan wrote it, and why not? De Niro's fantastic. And then the powers that be said, you know what? Any movie that's related to a comic book is making a billion dollars. It doesn't matter if it's a total piece of crap like Aquaman. Why don't we do a slight rewrite, slap a comic book name on this thing, and make our money regardless of quality? Why is anyone excited about this movie? What has Warner Brothers DCU done to make anyone excited about any of their movies anymore. Wonder Woman was pretty good. They got one. I'll even be one of the few people who defends Man of Steel because I thought Henry Cavill was such a good Superman. So being very generous, that's what, two movies in how many years that they've actually done an okay job at? I don't know why anyone has any faith in this anymore. This could look like the best movie that's coming out this year, which it doesn't. And I still just can no longer get excited about it. They have fooled me too many times and they've taken too much of my money. I think I made my thoughts on the Joker movie pretty clear. Avoid it. It's not going to be good. It's unnecessary. It looks like a hack rewrite. I just cannot care. And I hope I'm wrong. I do hope this one finally turns things around, and it's a great movie with a lot of surprises. But I think it's exactly what you see in the trailers. I don't think anything's going to surprise us. I think Joaquin Phoenix is going to do a fine job. He will not win an Academy Award, and the movie will make a ton of money because it has a comic book title. Thanks for taking this ride with me. Be sure to go to SoWizardPodcast.com for reviews, recommendations, merchandise, and more. Also, be sure to listen to So Wizard Podcast every single week, wherever you get your podcasts. Next week, the So Wizard Podcast crew is going to New York Comic Con as press. Tons of coverage, tons of videos, and uh, tons of information hitting the podcast soon. Also, be sure to check out So Wizard Podcast on Patreon, where you can monetarily support the show and get bonus content. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us grow our audience. I promise I'm working on more segments, but trying to get other people corralled into them makes the planning and scheduling a little more complicated than me sitting in my car or me making a cartoon about a Steven Spielberg movie. We love hearing feedback, so drop a line in the comments or leave us something on social media. All of our accounts will be found after the video and in the show notes. Thanks.